good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again with a kit review that I promised yesterday, or one of them I should say. It's the new Ryfield M4A3 Easy H Sherman. Uh, I got this yesterday, delivered yesterday already quite a bit ago. Uh, nice artwork. I do like the Easy 8. It looks really nice. And it's obviously 135 scale. And the kit number is 5028. 2019 release. So on the other end we have the picture that was on the front and the kit number again, the right field again. And on one side we have a sort of colour call out of the Easy 8. And obviously English, French, German, whatever you want to call it, all around the back of that. And on the other side we have some finished Pictures or CAD drawings of the workable track. I don't know what the pink thing is all about, but and then we have a map cover as well. So I haven't opened the box yet, so I'll have to get me a knife. I'll just split the edge. I think there's only one on one that's edged yet. Yeah. So let's have a look what we've got in the box. Pop that over there, out of the way. No. Oh, oh, first thing it looks at here is the track. So we'll start with those. I shall just pop this to the side for now. <clears throat> so you just have to excuse if I keep uh, clearing my throat. Right, so let's have a look at our resealable bag. So we've got two, two sprues there. So, take note to me, resealable bags. What's that? Right. So we have one, two, three, four sprues the same. So we'll just take the one out. And there are uh, multiple pieces for the track. But there is a tra track guide there to give the two uh, to follow. Individual guide horns. Which won't be too bad to clean up. And they're all nicely moulded. I can't see any. Yes, this there in the that's the centre. So you're not going to see those. As you can see, let me just if I bring this light maybe slightly back on this. There we go. And we can see the pads there, individual pads. On the inside on the outside, and there's a track jig there, and there's the part that snaps together that links each one to each track. It's very similar to how I just built the uh, M10 tracks from Bronco. There again, nicely, not a flash, no, nothing, really nicely done. Nice creamy coloured, like a yellowy, well, sorry, desert yellow um, plastic. Right, we're at that next one that's uh, got a part of the polar that's come off the, uh, the screw. Well, that's just a problem. Let's have a look. Okay, we have a nice deal. I'll give, show you that first while we've got it out. The detail on that is really, really quite nice. Obviously, you have clear parts to go into there. Nicely detailed again. Let's go to the one side. And we have a, uh, it is a slide mold, it is a one piece barrel as well. Let's start this side actually. And the uh, gun mount has a nice cast texture and a cast number there. Can you just make that out? And there's a cast texture on top of the. Uh, is it cast or just my eyesight? Nice texture on the. Uh, yeah, it is cast. On top of the um, gunner's hatch. Anything uh, else there? There's the parts of the gun. Oh, 
bits and pieces of the part of the gun mantlet. There's the end of the gun mantlet. Sorry, the uh, uh, one piece slide moulded uh, muzzle, which is nice. And the end pieces, I think, as well. So it look nice that there's no need for a metal barrel or anything on there. All nicely detailed. That's quite nicely detailed, and it's probably going to get covered up. But then again, it's all nice, you know, there's no flash, nothing at all. Periscope patches there, part of the periscope there. Nicely detailed again. So that's another sprue. That's so far so good. Right, failed. So now we have a cast texture as well on the uh, the lower of the turret as well, and there's the turret ring as well, separate. Let's just make sure this is resealed so we don't want to lose the cupola. <coughs> Say the detail is uh, absolutely superb. Absolutely superb. Sprockets, good choice of sprockets there. Solid. Or the. Uh, Oh, that's all there's only, yeah, there is two choice of well, There's the wheels, all really nicely detailed. Part of the bogies and the turn rollers at the top. Some more small bits and bobs. All this will be for the uh, running gear. And nicely, nice and fine, the uh, periscope guards. They're quite nice. And then we have. With that, it's a bit loose. Some small grab handles, all the small pieces, but really nice. There was a 30 cal there, which has been slide molded. And again, this has to be obviously out. You can see that. There we go. Yeah, the two identical sprues. Yeah, there's two 30 cals there. Careful putting these ones back in. There's a few small delicate parts on this one. Don't want to be going breaking them before I start building it. Smaller sprues with another gun mantlet and the, the canvas cover for the barrel for the uh, mantlet as well for the front two. Okay, that's nice. Nice detail. Another another mantlet. Place for the uh, bow machine gun. There's a few spare tracks. Engine grills, which are really quite nicely done as well. Over the rear panel, so over the front of it, and there's the 
canvas cover for the uh, turret. Some small bits and pieces again, fuel fillers, caps, and other small bits and pieces for the uh, two eyes by looking at those. That's nice. Still quite a bit of plastic to go yet, and we uh, have sort of the uh, with the pioneer tools. And this sprue, there we are, to open. In terms of that, I can't see where they are actually fastened into. Right, so we have another 30 cal on there and a 50 cal which is slide moulded as well and a few grease guns. Um, fuel cans, ammo boxes, some shovels, picks, the usual sort of fare, but really, really nice. We've got two different kinds of barrel for the 50 cal. And we have the machine gun, actually the uh, fit the belt for the 50 cal to be fed into it, and the breech. Yeah, that's really, really nice. We'll start off with the 50 cal on that. As you can see, there's the 30 cal, and there's another 50 cal slide molded, separate separate parts built up. There's the barrels, two separate ones, and there we are, number 21. You got the uh, the ammo feed into the gun, but these are really nicely crisp, nice and crisp, really nicely detailed. And we have three of the grease guns. And we have fuel cans and then we have, I don't know what the, if that's for the 50 cal or the, what's that? yeah it looks like a 50 cal stand or a 30 cal stand. And then we have the Pioneer tools which are nicely done. And there's all the um, ammo boxes there, quite a few to choose. And if you look closely on them, I'm actually get anything the camera will pick it up. There we go, you can see that they got writing on the actual tops of them. Oh, that's a nice touch. Oh, that's really nice. I do like that. Right. Okay, and then we have the actual gun. Turret. Again, really nice. Lovely texture, nice detail, cast number. On there, you can see the cast number, the actual cast texture is really, really nice. Pistol port is separate. So again, it's nice. You can have the choice of having it open and throwing the XL shells out or you know whichever you want to do. Oh, that's really nice. But I do believe there'd be um, an internal kit following these, I would have thought, because I've been looking at things and I think it's definitely Ryfield are definitely bringing out with a, uh, an internal, with the uh, full, full interior, I should say. I won't take the, uh, the clear parts out. We have periscopes, uh, lights. Really nicely done again. Sorry for the glare. There we go. Really nice. And then we have the uh, filter tub. Again, it's got that cast texture on the front on there. And the uh, rolled steel on the front of it. Lovely weld seams, and the weld seams are actually risen as well, which are correct and not sink, they're not sunken. Really nice detail. As you can see, cast texture is really nice, and then you've got the rolled steel on the front. That's really nicely detailed. That I do like that. And again, the rolled steel texture on the uh, on the sides. 
We have a little bit of spring and some poly caps, which I won't bother taking out of the bag either. No point. We have some decals, just the one set for one one of the vehicles, which is number 23. A paper doll, uh, which will look, will look decent in the Fryfield zone. Never had any problems. I don't think I've actually. I've actually built a rifle kit, but I've heard of anybody that's having any problems, I don't think. And on the back side of that, we have some PE. We have, looks like the light guards, um, grill, a little bits and pieces. Again, it's their own stuff, Ryfield's own stuff, and it looks nice and thin. And the last part of the plastic, I think. Oh, no, it isn't. I'm going to give you two, two brass shells, which I didn't realise was in the box. I nearly threw that bag away there. So we've got two brass shells for the 76. And the 76, I don't know if there's anything else in there that we want to lose. Right, and the final bag of sprue bag is, uh, looks like it's got it's the bottom of the tub. Bottom of the, uh, the tank, which is not a tub, built up separately, which is not a problem. And again, the detail is really nice, really, really nice. That's, that's better. The front grace of the front transmission cover with the cast marking on the bottom where it's supposed to be, I believe. Uh, the texture on that again is really nice. Some nice detail. Again, brush cleaning rods there, vinyl drive, book guards, done all the Bits and pieces again, engine deck. Look at the detail on the um, on the engine deck covers, on the engine covers. And obviously, there's the bottom, it's all built up in separate parts. But the detail is really nice. The fenders are slide, uh, slide the fenders are nice and thin and on the outside. There again, the detail is really nice, it really is nice. And like I say, the uh, all the parts are really nicely detailed. And there's the. Uh, it's giving you two options for the uh, bolts along the front. For the transmission to the main hull. The tow hook, tow hitch. Sorry, I should say there on my finger that. On the rear. So that's all the plastic and all the actual kit itself and all that leaves us is the uh, instructions and colour call outs. And as usual for Ryfield it's a mid colour call out. For two options we have the M4A3 Sherman 68th Tank Battalion Germany 1945. So there we go, mid colours. I don't know if I use, I mean, I use all sorts of colours, so I'll probably have a few of these. If not, I'm sure I'll be able to match with uh, what other colours I've got. Weathering steps. General wash with dark brown wash. Yeah, that's different. Giving you a. All big products, of course. If you can read that. And then we have another set. We have the M4 Easy H Sherman 12th Armour Division, Germany 1945. Now this looks like what sort of the uh, fury, you know, the darker black across the green. But I'll probably do the, uh, the paper doll one because I've got I've got a Sherman for the arch. You got the Talier Sherman. I know it's not 100 percent, but it'll be good for it'll be good enough for the uh, fury Sherman. Uh, and then we start off with the uh, nice booklet form. The destructions nicely clear, nice and clear. 
And we have a sprue map at the front. Put one piece of paper, yep. Part of a screw map on the front there, which is nice. We start off step one we're actually building the turret. Ah, you see. Let's work out with these red beans. It can be adjustable to any angle. You see we have alternative parts, open or closed. Okay, so that is a nicely done, nice and clear. It's unusual to start with the turret first, but that's what they've done. And the actual periscopes are uh, movable. The uh, pistol port can be open or closed, like I said. A few alternative parts. And if you can, we have options there with two aerial bases or just one with a cap. There again, it's all to do with the upper turret at the moment, all built. And propping it, I like this idea with the red parts telling you what options are separate and um, you can do either or, depending on which variant you're going to build. Now we are carrying on with the, uh, the turret. And we're starting to position the uh, lower ring and upper ring together, the turret. Start with the canvas cover and position the uh, all together. The two options again, you've got the one with the canvas cover or one without. So the one without is the paper, is the uh, no, doesn't really see. We've all got canvas covers on the map. On the uh, colour callouts, and then we have the uh, making of the 50 cal. As you can see, there's quite a few parts to it, but it does look nice. There's a few alternative parts again, like I say, the barrel, and then we have the cupola with the glass parts to go in as well. few alternative parts for the hatches as well, open or closed and do not glue so they're movable and same again with the uh, commander's cupola we can either have the option of it uh, open and closing positioning of the cupola and the uh, 50 cal and it's telling you to drill a few holes out, 8mm holes on the front on the uh, upper hull Really nice deep and I do like these uh, instructions, they're really nice. And then we have a few bits and pieces just that you oh yeah, like uh ah, right, for the hatches, they look really nice, don't they? So I'm sure they'll be doing an internal full interior one. And again, all clearly marked out, alternative parts again, there's for the sponsor, starting with the bow machine gun again. As well, which is really nice. So one of them 30 cal, 30 cal guns are uh, for the bow machine gun. The hardest part of this would probably be the tracks. And then we have all the uh, guards to be put on, light guards, PE light guards, and then the louvers. You can have them open or closed. Again, all nicely. Positioning and I've broken up and alternative parts again for each part. You have to say you'll have to make sure which version you're actually building, so you don't get confused. But really, really nice. I have to say the steps are nicely broken up into nice equal portions and not a lot in your, not in your face. And we're still up with the lower, with the upper, to, upper, upper hole. Oh, I wouldn't actually put the. Um, a few cans on there at the moment, and then we have all the track links, the extra track links to go on the sides. And then we start on the sponson, a little bit of for the uh, lower hull, position of the, uh, the return rollers. And then we have some other bits and pieces again, hatches, covers, half them parts, that's the rear. Is that the rear? Yeah, that's the rear, and then next door as well, so obviously it's made open or close, so I'll presume, again, the interior. Get a bit open so you can see, and then we're starting to build the uh, lower tub and then the rear with the uh, exhausts and the um, 
tow hitch. And again the uh, final drive cover and other bits and pieces positioning on there and then we're holding the sprockets and then it's sort of showing you how to do the makes it yeah the uh, the bogies. And then putting in the wheels and telling you not to glue so you can make it workable. And then position of the uh, yeah, we've got the alternative sprockets and then we've got the position of the bogies and the uh, return rollers. And then it's about the tracks. Just put the tracks on, but there's actually a breakdown at the bottom. Recommended to assemble 76 pieces per side, <coughs> outside and inside. Yeah, basically, basically the same as um, making the Bronco ones, which I've just done. Apart from this, is you give me a jig, and you can make one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, seven, each, seven on each part. Uh, yeah, and then we got the, uh, yeah, that's right, so that'll be the hardest part, definitely, is to make in the track. And then again, I wouldn't put the two together at the time again, I keep them separate for most of the time until the last complete part and then we've got the um, tow hook through the, uh, cable, the tow cable position of the tow cable and then we have the uh, rear underneath the uh, louver the, the um, diffuser or deflector sorry and there and then we again we have the gun position of the gun mount the uh, gun muzzle quite uh, detailed, you've got one, two, three, four parts to go into the actual slide moulded muzzle at the end, which is really nice, so that'll be nicely detailed. And then we're positioning lower hull, put it on the turret ring and then the turret, and then obviously you can either have one of the, you can have it um, in the travel, travel lock or not. And again, Same again, close door up, and then making the assembly of the 30, car, 30 bullet box and the 50 bullet box, which I say with, with the nice writing on the side. And I was right, we have a storage uh, steps for the 50 car tripod. Again, that's a nice touch. Very quite thick paper. And there again. I'll give you an alternative for the uh, 30 cal, so it's a 30 cal tripod. Okay. And that's it. So, all in all, I think it's going to work out to be an excellent build. It really, really looks really nice. The build itself won't be too bad. It's easy. Well, it's quite easy, I would have thought, but it's just the tracks that's going to take the time to do. That's what it's going to be. So, I'll have to make sure which version you're going to build to you know, read the instructions thoroughly, just to make sure you know what. Um, what you're going to do. But overall, very nice indeed. Very, very nice. So I say like you thank you for taking your time out of your day to um, listen to me rabbit on about the new kit. Um, to say I'm just trying to keep myself busy all the time so I'm trying to distract myself from the obvious. Um, so Thanks once again for all your support and all your um, get, well, get well messages from the other video the other day. I will answer them probably this evening when I'm a bit, uh, when I just sort of sit down and don't do much. I'll reply to you all. So yeah, once again, thank you very, very much. It really is appreciated. You know, brings a smile to my face. Uh, also, my wife says thank you very much as well. So. Thanks guys and girls um, for your support and thank you for the best of you for your uh, get well messages. I'm sure I will be all fine. Uh, just do what the doctors tell me to do and get on with it. So we'll see you soon either with the 1000 subscribers giveaway. Hopefully that should be tomorrow. 
I was supposed to do it today, but I, uh, I never got a chance to do anything about it, so it will be done, I promise. So this is Greg signing off, and we'll catch you very, very soon.